Hey y'all, welcome to the Blueberry Farm. In today's video, I'm gonna show you our process of how we plant blueberries in our blueberry field. Thanks for watching. So every year we lose several plants on our farm due to various different reasons. Um, it could be uh, gophers could eat the roots. It could be that um, a dripper on a drip line clogs up. It could be that the plant's just old and it's, you know, it's yielded all it's going to yield and it's just, you know, time for it to move on. So, um, so we always have to do this every year. And we start usually uh, in late November and then we'll do it all the way till the 1st of March. If it gets too warm and the, uh, you know, the berries, all the plants start to bud out, then we, we won't do it after that very often. Um, but what we'll do is let me show you here. We've already dug these up. You can see the root balls and the old dead, dead plants. We'll dig them all up wherever the uh, drippers are here. And, um, and now what we're going to do is we're going to go to these plants like where these suckers are coming off right here. And we're going to dig up some of these that we're going to replace into those empty holes there. Uh, these these suckers come out and the first year they really won't put too many roots on um, but if they've been there a couple years they'll go ahead and, and and root down pretty good and then you can dig them up and just move them into the the place that you're wanting to put them so it's a pretty easy process um, so i'm just going to do one of them two of them just show you how to do it and then you'll be on your own so here's a few right here that are all grown up this is not the the main plant the main plant was dead and it's right over here we've already dug it up and uh it was it was already dying but the suckers had taken off and, and taken root off away from the plant so what we're going to do is we're going to dig these up so that we can move them to our other our other hole over here and i'm going to try to do this one-handed so it's going to be kind of difficult just bear with me these the plants Blueberry plants don't make very, very deep roots. A lot of times when we dig these up, they're only six to eight inches in depth in the soil. So really kind of working around them and just getting underneath them is all you need to do. It helps to have two hands, obviously. It's starting to break loose a little bit now. I'm going to try to get as much soil as I can so that I don't disturb much of those fine roots. They don't really have a tap root in them. There we go, we broke it free. Let's see here. So, we're just trying to uh, get the majority. We got one coming out here off of that. Let me see if I can get a hold of it now. Yeah, you can see, it's trying to tie into another one that's running out this way. So I'm just going to pull it up like this and you can see that one there that's that's about all the taproot you can see it's not very deep of a root system here I'm gonna come back over here to our hole I might have to dig a hole out a little bit I wasn't prepared to grab this much soil hold on just a minute while I do that all right so what we're gonna do one thing that I like to do too, also, let me mention this really quick, is I try to, we pick with a mechanical harvester sometimes, and I try not to let them grow out too far into the rows because the catch plates that are on the harvester will tend to flare out too far, which allows the fruit to uh, fall to the ground. So I try to keep them in line, whatever direction they're going the best I can. Um, and you know sometimes you have to prune a whole lot during the the summer and fall months just so that that'll happen like that and you want it to do right but if you're just doing a you pick farm or just a few for yourself that doesn't even matter you can let them grow up crazy like i have on some of these here and uh they'll make all kinds of blueberries for you we're just gonna set this thing in here we don't want it to go down too deep because we want that rain water to we don't want it sitting there here i go one-handed again we want it to kind of just 
run off away from it as you can see here I've got pine bark mixed in all the soil so that helps that those uh, roots to be able to spread out and do good and it helps lower the pH also a couple more shovels full of dirt around it and that's about all you do I'm gonna pack it in there a little bit make sure the drippers right there on it because when they're young which this one will be kind of young because it doesn't have a whole lot of roots on it it needs to get all the moisture it can when it's developing and growing one more thing that i'll do and i don't have my i don't have my clippers handy but i'm gonna come in here and cut this top down i'm gonna take about half of this plant off for this year because it's already got fruit buds on there and we don't want the plant to make any fruit this year um, because if it makes any fruit this year it's going to stunt the growth of the plant and we want as much growth and as much root development as we can in between now and next season so i hope y'all got a little bit out of this i appreciate you watching hit the subscribe button if you hadn't already we'll see you on the next one